The Sephora Savings event is here and I am so relieved. I'm happy. I feel excited because I need to stock up on so many things. I am running really low right now. I've already done a video on the skincare products that I suggest you check out if you are looking to upgrade your skincare routine. And today we are going to be talking about makeup. Makeup products that I say are quite intentional, at least for me these days. I'm 40 years old now and I am just more thoughtful with what I'm putting on my face in terms of ingredients, but also in terms of terms of how the products perform on my skin. I don't want to use the thick textures that I used to use because nowadays they get caught up into the fine lines underneath my eyes. They can make me look a little bit older or more tired. And that's the opposite of what I'm going for. I'm going for a healthy and full of energy. So I'm going to share with you today products that I suggest you check out. And before I do that, I just want to say hello and welcome. My name is Lauren O'Connell. I am the beauty editor at Cosmopolitan Middle East Magazine. And this is my natural hair. I've just let it air dry. I actually, I tend to wear it straight quite, quite often. I find the curls to be a little bit unpredictable. If you have curly hair, you know what I mean by that. It's still a little bit damp, but I just couldn't wait any longer. I felt to, I thought to myself, I have to shoot these videos before the chaos of my kids ensue and take over my life. So first things first, let's talk about the foundation. I did choose products that I think will work really well heading into the spring and summer months. And when it comes to foundation, keep in mind, I don't have any filters or edits on this video right now. You can see I just have one frosted glass uh, window in front of me and I'm in my bathroom and I actually have the lights off. But when it comes to foundation, I want a foundation that is going to not mask my skin, but just to enhance my skin, to really just even out my skin tone and leave my skin looking dewy and just really healthy looking. I'm all about looking healthy. So I have mixed two foundations together. Well, I would say that they're more tinted. They're skin tints or tinted moisturizers. The first one is by Nude Sticks. This is their tinted cover foundation. I have been using it for years. But lately, I have been mixing it with Glowish, and this is the Multi Dew Skin Tint. This has a little bit of a not a shimmer, but a sheen to it. So when you combine these two together, this is the result you get. And it's just beautiful on the skin. It wears really well. And while they're great alone, although I wouldn't wear the glowish alone, when you put these two together, I feel like that is just when the magic happens. In terms of ingredients, the Nude Sticks has a lot of uh, plant extracts in it. It does have a few ingredients in it I'm not too crazy about. Not the ones that are going to age your skin or be pro-drying, but I always say until I come out with my own product, my own foundation, I will never be happy with any ingredients list. I will never be completely happy until I make it myself. But I do use these two together and this one works really well too on the body, especially if you mix it with a little bit of body lotion, you'll get just that nice shimmery or you know that nice uh, glow to your skin, perfect for the summertime. So these are my two picks for foundation. Now, when it comes to concealer lately I have been using whoops let me grab it I have been using this one this is also by glowish and the reason why I tend to start gravitating towards certain products or certain brands is I just like the I like the formulas but I like how natural they look on the skin I just can't do thick heavy uh kind of drying concealers anymore. This one, this is the Glowish Bright Light Concealer and it is incredibly, it's sheer. So if you have uh, really dark circles or heavy eye bags, you're not going to want to use this concealer. But if you're looking for just a little bit of a cover up, just to kind of brighten that under eye area and to also just cover up a little bit of discoloration, this is the one you wanna go for. I have it on right now, and you can see just in my under eye area, it looks very bright, very healthy. I am loving this concealer. You can also use this concealer if you wanted to as a little bit of a highlighter on your cheekbones. So those are, I would say, the skin products. Now, moving on to 
the bronzer. The one that I am loving is this one. This is Charlotte Tilbury's Film Star Bronze and Glow. Sorry, I just used it. I'm wearing it right now. And what I have to say I really like about Charlotte Tilbury's products is I feel like they're made with a mature woman in mind. They work so incredibly well on maturing skin. They look beautiful, of course, on younger skin as well, but these products just speak to me. I have very dry or normal to dry, dry skin. And so these ones work exceptionally well on my face. And the highlighter is so pretty and you know, it just gives the skin just this beautiful glow. And this product is just a staple for me. I have so many of them. I tend to run out of the, the bronzer first, so I still have a lot of compacts with the highlighter, but it is phenomenal. I highly, highly suggest getting it. And for blush, I have lately been using this one by Pat McGrath Labs. The color is called Nude Venus. And this is the shade. It's really pretty for just the summertime. It's pretty for all year round. It's on my cheeks right now. It's just sort of this nude color that, just put a little bit, let's see. Why would I apply this with my finger? I don't know, but I am. It just gives me just a nice, healthy flush to my cheeks. I do have a tutorial about how I recently changed the way I put on blush. I only do it from here out. Now I used to be more of the apple cheeks type person, but it gives just a nice lift to the skin. I love the color and it works for all the different types of makeup looks I do, whether it's something very natural or the other night I was actually done up. I went to a Charlotte Tilbury event for Ramadan, Ramadan Kareem, by the way, and I wore this blush to the event and I had just these beautiful, silvery, sparkly, smoky eyes and I was wearing the lipstick I'm wearing right now, which I'll tell you about in a minute, but this was the blush I wore and it looked phenomenal. So in terms of the lips, since I just mentioned the lips, I'm using Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. If you don't have Pillow Talk, go out and get it. Everyone should have a pillow talk. It's just really a beautiful, perfect nude. I love the formula. It feels great on my lips. I have gone through probably at this point in my life, 10 of these. I just love the pillow talk lipstick. If you have a deeper skin tone, there are two other versions of pillow talk. There's a medium and a deep to give you that same look on your lips, but with just one that would complement your skin tone. But Pillow Talk, go out and get yourself a Pillow Talk if you don't have one. If you get anything from this video, get yourself a Pillow Talk lipstick. They really are just phenomenal. It's a great color. There's a reason why it's so popular. It's just that universal, perfect nude. And in terms of the eyes, now there, this is a this video is a little bit Charlotte Tilbury heavy. I promise you, I'm not sponsored by them. If I was, I would tell you there's no sponsoring in this video whatsoever, not from Sephora either. I will have links down below for everything that I'm talking about. So if you want to purchase something from those links, just know that I do get a small commission. Now, this is the eyeshadow I'm wearing. It's called Exaggerize. And this was actually the eyeshadow that Charlotte Tilbury created and used when she did the Victoria's Secret fashion show, the last fashion show that they had. She was the makeup artist for it. She was the makeup brand for it. And she created this, so this was on all the models. And I just think this is so pretty. Once again, I have it on my eyes right now. You can see that beautiful shimmer. This color right here is just phenomenal. It just puts this beautiful, shimmery, taupey color on your eyes. It complements all the different eye tone, um, eye colors. And with this darker shade right here, you can really use it to smoke out the look. This is my go-to quad, my go-to eyeshadow. I have right now in my uh, beauty vanity, I have about five of these. And usually I, I run through different colors at different times. So it's just the way I am. And I do buy them all myself. I get a lot of products sent to me because I am a beauty editor and I'm also a beauty blogger. So I constantly get products sent to me, but I don't always, they don't send it the same product to you over and over again, they'll send it once. So when I find something or something sent to me and I love it, I always end up just repurchasing it myself a bunch of times. But I will say with the exaggerized that was never sent to me, I always bought that for myself from the get-go. Now in terms of the eyebrows, 
The best eyebrow pencil I have ever come across is this one. It's by Makeup by Mario, and it's the Master Blade Brow Pencil, and I use the shade Deep Brunette. So this side, this is called a spoolie. What I always do is I brush my eyebrows up, and then I fill them in with color on the other side, and it just has a retractable um, pencil, and I just lightly just start filling in my brows, and my brows naturally are quite blonde, so I have to do what I can to really darken them up to get them to flow with my face. I never put the pencil in the very front of my eye, my eyebrows. Instead, what I do is I just brush that part up. And after I'm done putting the pencil in, I always brush it through just to blend it in. This is the best pencil I've ever come across. I really like the formula. It glides on very easily. And if you're someone where you're not the best at filling in your brows, you're not really sure how to do it, this particular pencil I found is pretty foolproof. So the shade I use is Deep Brunette. Now also when it comes to eyes, I have found this mascara. This is not from Sephora, but I have to tell you, I love it. And I highly recommend you go get this yourself. It's by Max Factor. And it's the Divine Lashes and the color is in rich black. I love the uh, brush on it. This is a great one for people like me with just very average looking eyelashes when you really want to lengthen them and increase their, incre I guess you would say increase the, the width of them, increase the body, make them look full. This is the type of wand you always wanna look for and this formula is great. So don't worry about spending you know, $40 on a mascara from Sephora. Go get yourself some Max Factor Divine Lashes. It's so good. And one thing though that I do, this is I would say my most, this is my splurge, my big splurge, because it, see, oh, I can't talk. It seems so ridiculous to me to spend so much money on a liquid eyeliner, but I have not found any other liquid eyeliner that I like to use that I can manage. I'm not one of those girls that can just do like a cat wing, like it's no big deal. And this one is just very user friendly to me. It's by Tom Ford. It is a small fortune. I end up buying about two a year and it just has this beautiful tip that is so easy to use. You can see today, I only colored the top of my lashes just because I wanted to have a very casual, simple look, but it also has a smaller um, pen, a pen tip, I guess you'd say, to, for a more precise for those inner corners of the eyes. And if you want to do something big, you can fill it in with this one after you draw it with this one or vice versa, depending on how you like to do your eyeliner. But all the other eyeliners that I tried, and let me tell you, I've tried probably close to 100 of them. I always find that the brush is either too thick or it's too wobbly or the formula is too liquidy or the formula is too thick and I just can't get it right. I'm looking at my... Uh, I have this whole closet right here full of products and I have so many different eye uh, liquid eye pencils that get sent to me and none of them work the way this one does. So if you are kind of thinking about it, if you're tempted to do it, this is the time because you can at least get that 20% off. When it comes to just black eyeliners, like a pencil liner, go to Go to, go to Walgreens or CVS, go wherever you go in your neighborhood, um, whatever drugstore you have and get just a black one there. You don't need to go onto Sephora and buy a Lancome or anything like that. They might, they're nice to use, but I think you can get great ones that are going to cost you literally one, 30th of the price. So don't worry about pencil liners. I always use just cheap ones and I think that they work great. And let's see, is there anything else? Oh, I guess the last one I was going to show you is just this finishing powder. This is by Charlotte Tilbury. And this is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. The reason why I really like this powder is because it doesn't settle into my fine lines. I have them under my eyes. You can see, and if I'm not careful, 
those little lines can end up becoming so exacerbated that they seem like big lines if my makeup is not done properly. This powder just kind of glides over them. It doesn't settle into them and it get, takes away too much of, it uh, takes away that excess shine, but it doesn't take away my natural skin's glow. And if you've tried a lot of powders, you know what I mean by that. Some of these powders are just so thick and they make you look just completely opaque. And I like how my skin really shines through with this powder. It's such a beautiful one. Typically I'm shade one, but this one was actually just given to me at the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Majlis I went to the event and they gave me shade two. But the shade two, actually I'm wearing it right now. I think it looks fine on my skin. They're kind of flexible shades. So those are my skin, uh, my makeup picks, and I would love to know what are your makeup picks? What are things that you're thinking of getting at the sale? I love to read your comments. I read all of them. I can't always respond to all of them, but I do read them all. And uh, let me know what you're picking up, what you're going to get, what you wanna try out. And remember that everything I just told you is linked at the bottom, and those are commission-based links, so I will get a small, 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 <laughs> small commission if you choose to use them. Um, and if you're curious to know what my skincare uh, picks are, check that video out right here.